Now, remember, he's writing to Timothy. Mm -hmm. As I urged you upon my departure from Macedonia, remain on at Ephesus, so that you may instruct certain men not to teach strange doctrines, nor to pay attention to myths and endless genealogies, which give rise to mere speculation, rather than furthering the administration of God, which is by faith. So Paul left Timothy there in Ephesus to instruct people not to teach strange doctrines. What's a strange, strange doctrine? Other than the gospel. Other than the gospel. You know, Isaiah says, if they don't speak according to the law and the prophets, it's because they have no dawn in them, there's no light in them. People have to speak according to the word of God. It's got to line up with the, with the word of God. And it should always be tested by the word of God. How many times have I said that here? Yes, and I say it to you once again. Don't trust me. Test me. Mm -hmm. Test the things that I say against the word of God. Paul called the Bereans more noble-minded mm -hmm. right. than the Thessalonians because they didn't take his word for anything. They checked it he, out. He would teach them something and they get right into the scriptures and check to make sure it was mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Right? Strange doctrines are anything that don't line up with the word of God. Right. But I want to I want to put you in mind of, I don't know how familiar you are with Acts 19, which is kind of the initial history of the church in Ephesus. This is where Paul is in Ephesus. Paul, I mean, there were riots in Ephesus. Why? Yes. Because <clears throat> he was bothering their business. He was bothering their business mm -hmm. because religion was the business of mm -hmm. Ephesus. This is where the magnificent temple of Diana or Artemis, depending on whether you're looking for the Latin or Greek name here, right? She was the, the primary goddess of, of the area, of, of the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. one of the primary goddesses. And industry had built up around her. If you don't think there's industry built up around religion, go, go, go take a, a, a look and open, ask God to open your eyes to see what's going on, the reality of what's going on. So there were, there were so many people, the industry of Ephesus, mm -hmm. a great industry of Ephesus, was making religious bubbles, trinkles, Trinket, trinkets, trinkets yeah. little idols. idols. Yeah. And Paul disrupted that. Mm -hmm. The people who were getting saved, it talks about the fact because they were they were taking their idolatry idolatrous mm -hmm. things and bringing them and burning them destroying them they weren't going to give them away and pass them on to somebody else right. so they were destroying them so a great uproar occurred there in Ephesus because of this Paul was making a mess out of their business mm -hmm. right so there were a lot of strange doctrines because they were all <clears throat> pagan teachings that were so commonplace there in Greece in Macedonia, in, in Turkey, I mean, that's what's modern day Turkey, Asia, is where Ephesus was, the seven churches of Revelation are all in that area, right? So he was concerned about the church taking in pagan, pagan practices mm. and doctrines and teachings. And passing them <clears throat> on as they were from the word. Well, because they could be they could be dressed in religion religious clothes. Right. And I will tell you, if you study church history and look at what happened in the time of Constantine and right beyond, how when when Christianity wound up becoming the religion of the state, when it became mixed in with the state, mm -hmm. that in order to appease all of these pagans who were being basically in compelled to come into Christianity, they started, they talked about baptizing the idols. I mean, it was like, you know, they were making, they were making saints of half of the pagan gods. Mm. We need to be prayerful and careful about that now because, you know, our, our honor and glory have to be given to our God, not to anybody else. He receives all the glory and honor. Yes, yes, Paul about that, right? Glory.